we are going to learn about vitamin K which is a fat soluble vitamin K stands for coagulation in German that is why the name is given vitamin K vitamin K exists in three different forms which are vitamin K1 also known as phylloquinone that is present in plants vitamin K2 which is also called menaquinone it is found in animals and it is also produced by our intestinal bacteria third form is vitamin K3 also known as menadione this is the synthetic form although vitamin K is classified as fat soluble vitamin but the synthetic form menadione is water soluble and vitamin K is the only fat soluble vitamin which act as a coenzyme moving to the functions of vitamin K it is required for post translational carboxylation of clotting factors 2 7 9 and 10 These clotting factors are synthesized by liver as inactive precursor molecules. These inactive precursors of clotting factors contain a glutamyl residue. Vitamin K is required for gamma carboxylation of this glutamyl residue to gamma carboxy glutamyl residue, making a mature clotting factor that is capable of subsequent activation. This reaction occurs in the presence of oxygen and carbon dioxide. This mature molecule of clotting factor carries an extra negative charge which binds to positively charged calcium ions in the blood to form a complex. Let's assume that this is clotting factor 2 which is prothrombin so it has formed a prothrombin calcium complex. This prothrombin calcium complex binds to the phospholipids on the membrane of platelets leading to the conversion of prothrombin to thrombin. This is how vitamin K helps in coagulation. Another important function of vitamin K is activation of osteocalcin in bones. by the same mechanism of gamma carboxylation of glutamic acid osteocalcin is a calcium binding protein that is found in bones vitamin k is also required in activation of protein c which is a protein involved in limiting the formation of blood clots then comes the clinical indications although vitamin k deficiency is rare but newborns have sterile intestines and they initially lack bacteria to synthesize vitamin k and deficiency of vitamin k can cause hemorrhagic disease of newborn that is why a single prophylaxis dose of 1 mg of synthetic vitamin k intramuscular is recommended in all newborns There are certain drugs that competitively inhibit the action of vitamin K in gamma carboxylation of glutamic acid such as dicumarol and warfarin. Dicumarol is a natural anticoagulant found in sweet clover while warfarin is a synthetic analog. These drugs leads to hypoprothrombinemia leading to increased bleeding tendencies from minor injuries. The second generation cephalosporins also have warfarin like mechanism leading to hypoprothrombinemia.